Change is always going to be difficult. It's inevitable, but it's going to be difficult. And I want you to start having a, a better appreciation and mindset around change. But first, I need you to understand that there are two types of change. First is the change that is imposed on you. But the other type of change, which I do want to make sure you pay attention to, is the type of change that you initiate. And I want you to start leaning into and seeking out change anywhere and everywhere that you can. If you want to know something about yourself, sit on your bed one night and say, my life is not everything I want it to be, and perhaps it's not everything that I need it to be. What's one thing I'm doing wrong that I know I'm doing wrong that I could fix that I would fix? It's like, you meditate on that, you'll get an answer. And it won't be one you want, but it'll be the necessary one. You need to wake up every single day of your life and simply say, I'm going to do the best I can with what I have where I am. I'm going to do the best I can with what I have where I am. Whatever limitations are placed upon you because of this imposed change, you're not going to focus on that. You're going to focus on doing the best you can with what you have where you are. Anytime you make a change, it is going to be a prerequisite to you becoming more self-actualized. See, the goal of you raising your uh, sales performance is to raise yourself, is to become the best version of yourself. Those two things will go hand in hand. And never forget, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you will keep getting whatever you've been getting. And if you don't like what you've been getting, then you need to change what you've been doing. And in addition to leaning into change, I want to make sure you all understand that you have to choose to win. W-I-N, which stands for what's important now. This is the definition of mental toughness. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what's going on in the world, I need you to learn how to get hyper-focused on what's important right now. By definition, this means you'll be living in the present moment. A quote that has helped me immeasurably, and it's from a book called um, The Horse, the Boy, the Fox and the Mole. And one of my favorite quotes out of the whole book is a boy and a horse are in the woods. And a boy says to the horse, I can't see a way through. And the horse says, can you see your next step? And a boy says, yeah. And the horse says, then just take that. Wow. And it hit me. Yeah. All of the time, we, we look at the goal, we look at the future, we look at the end game, we look at how long a journey it is, and we yeah. feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Instead of that, just go, right, I'm not going to worry about that, because that, that will come. With each step, you will get closer to that. So I don't need to worry about how far away it is. All what I need to focus on right now, all I need to focus on right now, is my next step. You have to trust, respect, and appreciate the process. See, I know you all have outcomes that you desire, but in order to get to those outcomes, you have to build some micro steps and a process that will greatly increase your chance of reaching that desired goal. See, once you have that North Star, and I want you to have that North Star, now it's a matter of what can I do today that will take me closer to that North Star? What can I do right now that will inch me closer to the goal I'm trying to reach? So we have to trust and respect and appreciate the process. If you were to go to the gym, right? It's like exercise, right? If you go to the gym and you work out and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. And if you go to the gym the next day and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. So clearly there's no results, can't be measured, it must not be effective. So we quit, right? Or if you fundamentally believe that this is the right course of action and you stick with it, you commit yourself to the regime, the exercise. You can screw it up, you can eat chocolate cake one day, you can skip a, skip a day or two, you know, it allows for that. But if you stick with it consistently, I'm not exactly sure what day, but I know you'll start getting into shape. I know it. It's not about the events. It's not about intensity. It's about consistency. 